What's up, guys? Joe Buffalino here. Now, I have been hinting at some very big news for quite some time, and today is the day. Oh, look at that! Come on! Now, Claire and I have been together for about a year, so I reckon it's time to take things to the next level. And of course, I wanted you all to be the first to know. Now, this, sorry, <laughs> this is where I will be popping the big question. Look at that! Oh, I did a bit of recon last weekend. The most epic location for the most epic couple. The new interface is launching in three days. I really need all hands on deck. Oh no, we're just gonna be out for the day, so I can do that when I get back. <laughs> I haven't been hiking in ages. Joey's really been looking forward to it. I'm gonna take her up to the mountains near where she grew up for the most epic view and epic surprise. Now, I can't live stream this for obvious reasons, which is why you are watching it all cut together. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the most awesome proposal video you have ever seen. Buff Man out. Great, keep me posted on those numbers. <laughs> I'm fine. I know, I know. I've been working a lot, but I love it. Oh, hey Kelly, Jason's calling me. It's probably about that wellness package. Okay, bye. Hi, Jason. What's the... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you just send it over in a PDF and I'll take a look at it. Yes. Yeah, right. Well, did you check with the marketing team? Okay. Uh, sorry, could you, could you repeat that one more time for me? What did I tell you? Most amazing girl ever. Her company is absolutely yeah, the, killing it right now. Good thing she'll have a relaxing day up in the mountains mm -hmm. today, huh? Well, it, it, it's <clears> all about the color scheme. You wanted all the match. Too much. Let's try that again. Sure. <gasps> oh, oh look, look who we have here. The you. big boss himself. Maybe 20, 30 minutes out. Um, it's a beautiful day. Wish you could Perfect. see the view in front of me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but the hike won't be too bad. And then we'll be at the top for that epic view that I promised. Uh, it's going to be great. And you're going to be with us every step of the way. So we'll see you there. Buff man out. Hey, Kelly. How are you? Good. We were just Sorry talking about the color uh, schemes. I'm thinking gray and blue are going to be the most complimentary for the cover page. Right. OK. <clears throat> so. Um, Well, that's not really gonna matter next week. I can check into that when I get back tonight. Oh, and so I like it option begins. three best, but Look could you run that by Abby? I just wanna make sure everyone's on the same page. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, can you imagine? Oh, you know what? Jason's calling. Can I call you right back? This is gonna be Hi Jason. So great. I did, I was just talking to her, so yes. we decided. Well, it's Still a complicated up. process. We're actually going through a gorgeous I'm field of wildflowers right now. I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally Hello? all around me. Have a look Jason, at that. are you there? Yellow. How gorgeous is that? Hey, is there going to be a service up where we're going? Oh, uh, you know, I'm not really sure, Claire Bear. And, um, just keep going this way. All up the hill. Wildflowers. Like I said, all around. Uh, this is great. I'm so glad you talked me into it. Well, I am just glad that you could take time out of your successful career to come adventuring with me. Ooh, classy. To the end. 
the most beautiful, hardworking girl I know. Congrats on having one of the most downloaded apps in the country last month. To start. <laughs> Do you actually mind if I got a quick time-lapse video of us just kind of eating and enjoying this awesome view? Of course, I don't mind. Just what I needed. Thank you. Well, I am ready to go, but I've worked way too long. Oh, actually, um, we sort of need to wait till till sunset. I have a, a, a bit of a surprise for you, but it'll be worth it. I, I promise. Is sunset really necessary? Oh yeah. Okay. How about we compromise? I will wait. 15 minutes, and then you do your surprise. Um, well, well, the sun won't be setting in 15 minutes. Buff, I promise you, you're gonna get the exact same reaction out of me, whether the sun is setting or almost setting. How about you just show me the surprise now? Actually, um, could you just so quickly just take a couple of photos of me? Um, just need some content from today, you know, for the followers. Yeah. They are gonna wanna see this for sure, trust me. Okay, fine. A couple photos, then you do your surprise, and then we leave. I don't wanna get caught in the dark. Oh, uh, well, no worries, because brought torches. Right, okay, yes. Two photos, one, um, one from this direction, and then one from this direction, then the surprise, and then we leave, yeah? Okay, two photos. Oh, <laughs> babe, always horizontal. Come on, we, we've talked about this. <laughs> My, yeah. <clears throat> Let's take a little, um, actually the, the lighting and the angle are just a bit off. Could you maybe actually stand up and just it's like a foot back. Sorry, just... Yeah. I just want to get the whole composition, you know? Uh, uh -huh. the, the sky and me, of course, yeah. and then the mountains. Yep, I'm getting it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, great! Ex except, um... <laughs> we just, we accidentally chopped my feet off there. Try once, yeah. Sorry, one more time. Um, <laughs> Sorry, mate, maybe just uh, crouch down a bit. I'm just, I'm trying to get the whole composition that we mentioned, you know, so don't be afraid to uh, back up a bit if you have to. Or... Is this far enough? Yeah, probably. Claire? Claire? Oh! 
My girlfriend fell in the river. Shh, don't move. That's okay. My name is Natalie. I'm with the Forest Service. You're in safe hands now. Base, this is Natalie Pritchard. I'd like to report an accident. Female slipped and fell into the river. We'll update you with more information when it arrives. Copy. Heading in that direction now. Ground volunteers are on their way. pretty badly when you came somersaulting down that mountainside. I'm no doctor, but I'd say you have a badly bruised rib cage. I'm gonna need you to stay right here until more help arrives. No, 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 my girlfriend fell off a cliff. I can't just stay here, right? I need to go find her. It's okay, it's okay, I already called it in. Search and rescue are out there right now looking for her. Can you tell me your name, along with a, a physical description? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Claire McAllister. And, um, well, she's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you are. Hmm? I mean, she is. I mean, I'm sure she is, uh, because I, I can imagine, because I'm, that makes sense, since um, you're... Do, do you recall her, her hair color, eye color, height? If you, if you need a moment to gather your thoughts, that's totally fine. Base, this is Natalie Pritchard. Go for base. I'm here with our tumble victim, who's awake and I think coherent enough to supply us with a description of our missing person, whose name is Claire McAllister. Copy. We're ready. Oh, um, she has, uh, golden blonde hair. And, um, well, I forget how tall she is, but she's smaller than me, that's for sure. Um, she has, uh, ocean blue eyes. And, um, and she was wearing a red jacket and, uh, and black workout pants that were very, very, very flattering. Natalie, are you still there? Still here. Her age. Oh, uh, uh, she's 28 years old. And, um, but also, she's really beautiful. I, I mean, like, model level beautiful. M maybe not supermodel because of uh, the height thing, you know? But, um, but definitely insta worthy. Base, did you copy all of that? You're looking for a blonde haired, blue eyed beauty. Copy that. What's the latest on our missing hiker? Our missing person is female. Blonde, small build, blue eyes, late 20s. Last seen wearing a red jacket and black pants. Her name is Claire McAllister. There's stormy weather rolling in, so let's find this woman within the next few hours. All right? All right, I'll keep looking.
sorry, but what was your full name? Uh, Joey. Joey Buffalino. <laughs> sorry, what was that? Oh, nothing. It's just your name's Joey, and you're Australian, and you're cute. It's cute that a Joey is a baby kangaroo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Buffalino, I strongly encourage you not to go looking for your girlfriend alone. Okay, first of all, my mates call me Buff. I'm pretty sure we're past the formalities, Nat. And second of all, I'm not alone. I have you. Nat, it's cool. Uh, just to be perfectly clear, I'm not gonna follow you into the starry night. As dreamy as that sounds. Alone, together, with the moon shining down on... The uh, rubber boa snake, right what, where, there. Where, where, where? Oh, you missed it. it. It slithered underneath the rock. Did you know that they're one of two boa constrictors in the United States? Pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. What's uh, what's the other one? Rosie boa. Oh. Yeah. Joey, look. Please, Buff. Buff, we have amazing volunteers, and your eyes are so green. And they almost always find the missing person within the first 24 hours. I hate to say it, but if you head out on your own and in the dark, you're just gonna get lost yourself. Then search and rescue, they're gonna have to come and find you too, which means less people looking for Claire. Fine, fine, um, I'll help you keep looking for her until it's too dark, and then we're setting up a camp. Well, I brought torches. And I brought an extra tent and a sleeping bag that you can borrow. I can almost guarantee that you're gonna wake up the next morning with news that Claire has been found, and all she needs is a couple band-aids. Maybe a cast or two. Okay, fine. We'll camp out tonight. But tomorrow morning, if she hasn't been found, I'm gonna keep looking for her myself. Fair enough. Hello? Hello? You all right? Yes, I, I am fine. Oh, you have no idea how excited I am to see another hu... Hi, Claire. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What are you doing? I am waiting for someone else to come rescue me. You haven't changed? What? I said you haven't changed. You look like you've been through hell, and when you don't like the hand that's here to help you, you'd rather spend a few extra hours up in a tree. <laughs> you are so stubborn. Okay, fine. Make the call. It's Colt McCoy. I found Claire McAllister. She seems to be safe and well. Possible minor injuries, but she's not in shock. Not sure how accurate that is. I spent the night in a tree. Great work, Colt. Give us your location and we can send in a chopper. Colt, do you copy? I copy. Stand by for location. Need to get to higher ground for a reference point. Copy that. You don't know where we are? Oh, I know where we are. But you need to stop acting like a child, Claire, and come down from there. I'm not doing this all over again. What? You're lucky to be alive. You were washed miles down that river. It's, it's a miracle you didn't drown. Don't change a subject. You get back on your little radio and you tell them exactly where we are. No. Excuse me? I said no. You need to come down from that tree, Claire, and start treating me like an adult, and I'll call on the chopper, and then someone else can deal with you. Okay, fine. Okay. What are you doing? Coming up there to help you down. Uh-uh, I don't, I don't need your help. Claire, get out of that tree. No. Claire. No. Claire. No. Get through. What are you doing? Get me out of this tree. No, 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 get out of the tree. Get out of it. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Cold. 
Are you all right? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I just... Uh, broke my radio. Uh, and maybe my back. <laughs> uh, Don't you have a cell phone? Yeah, I do. But there's no cell service for miles. We're gonna have to get to higher ground. No, no, no. Bella, come back! Bella! Aren't you going after her? She's long gone and on her way back home. She'd rather be there than out here. Smart horse. This is the most vivid nightmare I have ever had. You're telling me. You know, I knew it. I knew I should have turned around the second I heard your name over the radio, but no! No, I thought, you know, we're two grown adults by now. What could be the issue? You sure proved me wrong, Claire. Again. What about a smoke signal? It's fire season, okay? We can't build a fire big enough to send up enough smoke. So we can only do that if we have absolutely no other choice. And do we? Yes. We're gonna get to high ground, call the rest of the team. Okay. You can do that. I'm gonna follow the river, and I'm sure it'll spit me out somewhere near civilization. Claire? What? Look. Here is where we are, more or less. Here is where civilization is. Now, right here is where I think that we can oh, get... You think? Here is where I'm pretty confident we can get cell service. So, unless you want to spend a few extra hours on foot, this is your only option. Okay, great. Let's go get cell service. <clears throat> Claire? What? About uh, 7 a.m. I didn't sleep very well last night. Still pretty banged up from the fall I took, but uh, you guys, my Claire Bear took an even worse fall, and I have no idea where she is or what the hell she's doing. I mean, search and rescue are out there right now looking for her, which is so good, but I don't know, honestly, you guys, I, I can't just sit around here and do nothing, you know? I've got to get back on the trail. Ah, Bear, 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 Bear. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually scare you. I was just checking to see if you were up, and you are, and that's great. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's no worries. <laughs> just playing around. <clears throat> Is there, uh, any news about... Yes, yes. One of the search and rescue volunteers on horseback found her. They did? Oh, where is she? Well, that's the other thing. We haven't heard back from him since his initial call. From him. Oh, yeah, Colt. He's great. Very capable, real outdoorsy type. Claire is in excellent hands. Well, a Colt is a baby horse, Ned, so... You don't have anything to worry about. Colt is a good person. I mean, it is a little alarming that we haven't heard back since, but I'm sure they're fine. He's awesome. <laughs> Did he get her an awesome ring? I don't think so, but... I'm sorry, what? Oh, nothing. Uh, are you sure he didn't say where they were? Yes, I'm sure. Right. I've got to go find her. Ah. Let me get you some painkillers. Oh, you know what you need? A uh, cold beer and a gentle breeze. Hot springs. There's a couple not too far from here. They're so good for aching muscles, and the minerals present in the water get soaked up in the skin and help with circulation. Yeah, I don't think so. See, I don't want to waste any more time, because every second that goes by, Claire could be inching that much closer to death. I think we can rule out death. Colt did say that she was safe and well. I mean, it's your choice if you want to get up and go, but the hot springs could really help. So you're saying 
I can't rescue her if I can you know, barely stand. Is that what you want me to be saying? You're stubborn. But I like it, but I respect it. Very well, we'll do it your way. Can you uh, show me where these hot springs are? Oh, definitely. You don't want one of these? I'm fine. Thanks. Hey, um, this is kind of embarrassing, but it is Saturday, right? Yep. It's Saturday. So I have some really important work stuff Monday that I have to be back for. And it'll be nice to have a day to, well, shower. Yeah. So what do you do for work now? Oh, I run a wellness app called Second Nature. It's all about creating positive, simple habits that help improve everyday life. I had to hire another 10 people just this week. Hmm. I hope it makes you happy. It does. It makes me very happy. And I have a boyfriend who is so great about letting me do my own thing. And he travels all the time, which is awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, I go with him sometimes. Oh. We travel to beautiful places together and eat delicious food. Any more snacks? Ooh. Hey. You're going to climb that? Yes, I am going to climb that. Have you done this before? I'll be fine. In the rain? It's not raining. Well, it's about to be. Don't you need a rope? Well, a rope would be great, but uh, I don't have one. Well, what if you fall? I won't fall. If I do, just turn your head so you don't see me land. Look, the sooner I make it up there, the sooner I can make the call. The sooner I make the call, the sooner we can part ways. Now, do you want to go home or do you want to continue telling me how this can go wrong? Thank you. Sorry, you might want to take a step back. Great. I'm going to be responsible for your death. Are you high enough for cell service? Not yet. So you still work at that ranch? I, I own it now. Wow. That's surprising. Why is that surprising? Well. All those years ago, you seemed perfectly content to stay right where you were. I mean, it's not like you actually went anywhere, but still, I'm impressed you had the ambition to uh, take charge. All right, little miss, too good for...
sorry. You know, Colt, I really was trying to catch. What's he doing? Washing off. Another cool fact about hot springs? They're naturally detoxifying. Oh. Yeah. They can be a gentle remedy for skin ailments such as acne, eczema, psoriasis. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not that you have any skin issues. Your skin is flawless. <laughs> anyway, in addition to the mineral content present in the water, the heat of the hot springs, they can alleviate the sensation of pain. You know so much stuff, Nat. <laughs> I mean, you are like the smartest person I've ever met. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, I did get a 4.0 in college. Bit of a problem. No. I'm sorry, Joey. Ah, oh, it's fine. No, I, I completely wasted your time. No. I promise I had no idea. They must have put this up last night. They should have radioed me. Matt, it's fine. It's all good. I'm, I'm actually feeling a lot better. The, the painkillers you gave me worked like a charm, OK? And besides, the last hot springs I went to? Filled with naked old men. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, you know? I just, um... <laughs> I'm, j I'm just still recovering a little bit. So this is good. This is great. We'll get back on track faster. I can find my clear bear. I mean, I've got an epic proposal to make, you know? And, and I have a feeling, that that I can spin this in just the right way. Imagine. I find Claire somewhere out there. With Colts. And I'll wrap her in a plaid blanket or something cute. Um, and then I kiss her passionately. And then. And then I get down on one knee. And I say. I know this whole thing has been so unexpected. But I have one more surprise for you. And this one I plan. Will you marry me? I will. <laughs> what? Help you! <laughs> I mean, I will, I will help you find your girlfriend so you can get down on one knee and ask her to marry you. <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Oh, I so appreciate everything you've done, Nat. And I like hearing that. <laughs> oh, on second thought, we may need to take shelter until the storm passes. Oh, come on, Mother Nature. Whose side are you on? Ooh, hey, look at that cloud formation. Oh, yeah. I've got to get a quick pick of that. Oh, if you just lower... Yeah, mm-hmm. You'll get the tail end of the super cool-looking dark cloud. Oh, good spot, Nat. <laughs> Thanks. Oh! Well, blown away. Okay, now we just have to count to see how... Oh, oh that's very close. We should go find shelter. Yep. Here, Ryan. Shelter. I don't need that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Please, I left my jacket in that stupid tree.
Well, you're obviously freezing, okay? Let's get your body temperature up. How'd you find me? Not really sure. Meaning? Well, you're not gonna believe me. Try me. Well, I kind of fell asleep on the horse. No, we're zoned out so much. I don't really remember. It was just starting to get a little light. I was coming my way through the trees down by the river and I told myself I'd just close my eyes for a couple of seconds. Next thing I know, I hear you calling out, my eyes snap open, and it's morning. Somehow I'm still on Bella's back, gripping the reins. See you up in that tree looking like a drowned cat. Sounds made up. Yeah. Told you. So what you're saying is Bella found me. Yep, you owe your gratitude to the horse. I'll be sure to thank her. If we ever make it back. When we make it back. <clears throat> All right, well, since we have no way of contacting anyone, the best bet is to follow the river down to the ranger station. It's about a day's journey. And from there, we can video the rest of the team. Oh, I'm sorry. A day? Yeah. I can't do that. I, I have people depending on me. It's our best option, Claire. Really? Because I think our best option is a smoke signal. I told you that is last resort. I feel like we've reached that point. Fire season gets worse and lasts longer every year. I'm not going to risk a forest fire just so you can shower before Monday, OK? It's raining. How does one start a forest fire when it's raining? How does one start a fire when it's raining? Mm. You're ridiculous. I'm not gonna risk a brush fire when I know how to get us to safety without it, all right? I hope you know what you're doing. I do. I promise. We're being forced to wait out this storm underneath these trees. And I think we're actually through the worst of it. But I, I just hope wherever Claire is, she's safe and warm. So you put those videos up on the internet, and people watch them, and that's how you make a, a living. <laughs> how does that work? How, how do you make money off of recording your life? Well. When enough people want to know what you're up to, you can influence them, you know? And, and companies will pay you to mention their products. Always casually and tastefully, of course. I just, I haven't done that yet out here because, you know, to be honest, I, I think it'd be absolutely disgusting to exploit this particular situation, or with Claire still missing and all. You don't really get out much, do you? I mean, socially. No, not really. Does it show? <laughs> what do you do on weekends? You have any friends to hang out with? Or? I mostly hang out here in the mountains. Like Bob Ross said, there's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. I do love Bob Ross. Me too. Seriously, watching him paint is the best lullaby out there. I know! <laughs> well, you gotta have some actual people to talk to as well, though. I, I call my grandma once a week, and oh. we have some lovely, lovely conversations. Nat, you, <laughs> you gotta find some people your own age. I mean, look, your Nan and Bob Ross are both exceptional, make no mistake, but <laughs> come on, the list has got to be a bit longer. People can be mean. Nature can't hurt you the way people do. I don't know about that. Nature beat me and Claire up pretty bad in 24 hours. Well, nature didn't do that. You did. Nature just is. 
You gotta learn how to respect it. Well, okay. I, I, Ranger Nat, I will learn to respect nature. <laughs> I promise. Maybe it's not my place to say, but you might want to give people a chance as well. I mean, just because you had one sour experience with someone, it doesn't mean that everyone's going to treat you that way, you know? Isn't that what life's all about? Relationships? Oh, what was the recording that did you hear how smart I just sounded? Come on, Joey. Did you hear that? <gasps> hey, I think that's Bella. Colt's horse. This is great. But it's not great that Colt is not on her back. That's actually really bad. Uh, don't worry, Nat. Um, I'm, I'm something of an animal whisperer. <laughs> Shh, we're connecting. That's all right, girl. Oh, you are so brave running through that storm. Where did you come from, huh? Have you seen my girlfriend? That's it. Come on. Come to Buff. your back, and you're gonna make me look all kinds of heroic as you show me the no, 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 no! It's quite the connection. Yeah. Should be all right? Yeah. Yeah, she's headed in the direction of Colt's ranch. What worries me is that she's not with Colt or Claire. I'm gonna call search and rescue. Let them know they might be in trouble. Base, this is Natalie. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I wanna see if we can get to the ranger station in half the time. Uh, moving as quickly as I can. If I make it back tonight, I still have time to call Jason, who I'm sure is freaking out. What are you... Connect with the others, make sure everything is running smoothly for the launch of the new interface. Oh, and now that I'm carrying your things, you should be able to keep up with me. Look around. Huh? Look around, Claire. When are you ever going to be in a place like this again? And you have it all to yourself. Well, you're here. Claire, stop. Do you even know who you are outside of work? There's nothing wrong with being successful at work, okay? It pays for my happiness. My car, my apartment. Money doesn't buy you happiness. Don't be cliche. Cliches are cliches because they're true. <gasps> That's another cliche. Claire, happiness is not about notoriety or riches or luxury cars or expensive clothes. It's, it's about people loving and accepting you for who you are and you loving and accepting them back. The good and the bad. I am loved and accepted. And you know what? Who are you to judge? We haven't talked in years. You don't know the person that I've become. And whose fault is that? If your job disappeared tomorrow, what would you have? I... I would have Buff. Buff, Buff, that, that's his name, Buff. Sure is, I'd have that guy. Wow, that guy, huh? Well, you just seem enamored by him. Well, he accepts me as I am. Look, Claire. We don't need to get into the past. All I'm saying, just try to slow down just a little. You might not mind the view.
Is that it? Oh, I told you we'd make it here in half the time. Hot shower. Here I come. Why didn't you say something? I didn't want to burst your bubble. Besides, I need to figure it out. The building's been abandoned for as long as I can remember. We've still got a long ways to go. Don't be sad. Listen, you can already hear the river. It's just up ahead, OK? Come on. Are there any waterfalls or dangerous rapids down this river? I'm not anywhere nearby. I am certainly not between here and that ranger station we're headed for. Why? What are you thinking? Well, why don't we use the river? Give our feet a break and float down on it. On uh, what exactly? I don't know. Can't we build a raft or something? That'll take a whole lot of something you don't exactly have, Claire. And what exactly is that? Time. Your work deadline is rapidly approaching, remember? Right. W but, but we would be saving time and energy if we float to the ranger station. I guess we could go look at that old abandoned shack we just passed. Yeah. Maybe we could build something. Or we could probably use it for the base of the rafts. Or we could just use uh, this. Yeah, I guess that'd, that'd work. Oh, hey, look, hmm? red tail hawk. You know what that reminds me of? Hmm. Our high school mascot. And the first time I ever saw you. Oh, no. 
Not this story. Mm -hmm. I've never seen such a fearless freshman. No one, and I mean no one, wanted to put on that mangy old mascot costume for the rally. The football team wanted to burn the thing. But you insisted it would boost school spirit. I'll never forget the way you held your head up in defiance as you walked up to that sad pile of sweaty feathers and fur. Put that stupid thing on in front of everyone. <laughs> this little blonde freshman just determined to rally the entire school in a repainted chicken outfit. Uh, then you ran around the field, flapping your wings, giving everyone oh. high fives. <laughs> oh, that thing, it, it smells so bad. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. They all cheered. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I know what I was thinking. I was thinking no one could have pulled off being a sweaty, overly cheerful bird of prey better than you. You know, I smiled a lot that day, watching the game and watching you soar through the bleachers, majestically giving out blind high fives. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to know who you were after that. You know, I only did that because Gina insisted that we change our mascot to a kitten. Yes, Gina, the captain of the cheerleaders. Weren't you two dating at the time? Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't so bad. Really, really into cats, though. Like, crazy into cats. Ugh. So are there any Ginas currently in your life? Uh, nope. No one's serious since you. Well, you know, this boat isn't going to row itself. going and it's nearly 4 p.m. which means around this time yesterday Claire slipped and oh oh hold on battery finally died oh darn guess we'll just have to enjoy nature and fresh air and like each other's company or something oh no nah, come on Nat come prepared uh what what is that um it's a portable charger come on <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't, I, I don't know what I was, oh, okay, there we go, samesies, <laughs> I'm just gonna go get our phones back. in this tree and more importantly why did she leave the jacket I gave her for a birthday up here Joey this is a good thing it means we're on the right track we'll just keep making our way down river yeah but who's keeping her warm now though maybe Colt oh don't say that Oh, there's my phone.
Oh, I would do anything for a steak right now. Ooh, or a cheeseburger with extra pickles. You know, at this point, I'd even settle for a grilled hot dog. How about a grilled fish instead? Wait, really? Wax on, wax off. Just wait. Song. Teach me. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you want to approach them from downstream, okay? Why is that? Fish spend most of their time swimming upstream. You want to get behind them, all right? Okay. Now, let's Ooh. see. Ooh. All right, great, great. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now slowly put your hands down into the water and let it come down to you, all right? Oh, oh. almost. Almost. This is impossible. Not impossible, just a little tricky, all right? Ooh, look, right there. Perfect. Now, wait for it to come down to you. Wait for it to get close enough. You cup your hands around it and come down to you. But be careful, sometimes they can... Oh! <laughs> you did it! I did it! I mean... I did it, I did it! <laughs> Ow! Oh, okay. Bit me. Ah, yeah, it can happen sometimes. I tried to warn you. <laughs> Here, let me take a look. It's not that bad. I don't even think it needs a Band-Aid. Huh? Here. Okay. All better. Thank you. It's nothing. And it, look, if you really think you need a Band-Aid, we can go get one. No, I mean, thank you for finding me. You're welcome. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. I assume you're going to want to gut yours yourself? <laughs> Come you on. You assume you won't. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come no, on. no, no. All right. I guess it wouldn't be fair to make you do all the work now, would it? Right. Ooh, never mind. I don't want to. So there I am, trying to put out three fires in three separate spots that refuse to go out. And the two volunteers I'm training are just standing there, doing absolutely nothing. Mouths open, gaping at me while I'm, <laughs> I'm dancing around, trying to stomp out the flames. It was unbelievable. <laughs> well, they were mesmerized by your dance moves. Well, I do mean, have some pretty sweet moves. <laughs> this was delicious. Mm. Worth every fishbone I accidentally swallowed. <laughs> well, now you can go back and tell your employees that you not only caught a fish with your bare hands, but you ate it whole, bones and all. It's a great rumor for the office. Make them all terrified of me. Mm, you can, uh, can do it as soon as tomorrow. Only about you know, 15 or so miles from the ranger station. The sun's down. Mm -hmm. Probably don't want to navigate the river in the dark. We should just camp here. Pick it up again in the morning. Okay. So. Your choice. What happened to us? I think I just needed to see what I could do on my own. You know, I keep replaying that argument we had before you left over in my mind, and I just like, what did I say? When did you run? I was young. And it was a long time ago. I, I don't really remember. I think I want to get some sleep. Here. <clears throat> Take my best. It's warm enough tonight. I won't need it. Thank you.
Sorry for throwing your phone into the bushes earlier. No, that's all right. You did find me another one that looked just like it, so. Plus, it led me to Claire's jacket, which is currently serving as a very nice pillow. I am on my phone a lot, hey? It's just... My job sort of requires it, you know? It's funny, when I was a kid, I... I thought I'd be a storm chaser. Really? Yeah. That's why you were so into those cumulonimbus clouds yesterday. You know your clouds, Ned. I sure do. There's also just regular cumulus clouds, stratus clouds, stratocumulus, altocumulus, altostratus. Oh, settle down, champ. <laughs> Why didn't you? Become a storm chaser, I mean. I was never any good in maths. It turns out... Storms are a lot of science. Science is a lot of maths. I don't know. I guess it was just easier to take my phone out and make adventures rather than chasing them. You should be a storm chaser. I mean, if you like making videos for people or sponsors, or whatever, keep doing it, but... It kinda sounds like you gave up on a dream. Was it... <laughs> well, it's not as easy as just declaring I'm now a storm chaser. Like, I'd have to go back to school. Go back to school. Well, I'd need a tutor for the math stuff. Get a tutor. Oh, you are relentless, Nat. You should be a life coach. Math tutor? <laughs> I like my job. I love my job. I'm glad you're here, Nat. through this? Hey! It... We missed it. It was right there, and we missed it. No big deal, Claire. We're only a couple miles from the ranger station. What? Last night, you said we were 15 or okay. so miles uh, away. <clears throat> Look, Claire, um... You lied to me. I know. I, I, I shouldn't have lied, but having such a nice time, and I just, you know, I didn't want things to end. So you fudged the numbers knowing that I would only agree to stay if I thought we were far enough away? I know it was wrong of me, okay? Do you want to know why I left you all those years ago? I left because we never wanted the same things. You wanted to stay in the tiny little town that you grew up in, and it made me feel guilty for wanting to pursue my own career. Do you think that is any excuse for you just disappearing without an explanation? We were engaged, Claire. Do you have any idea what I went through not knowing why you up and left me? And then after all this time, you say it's because you thought we didn't want the same things or that that would somehow get in the way of the things you wanted to do? You know what the real problem was? We didn't talk about it because you didn't want to. You just made assumptions. And then you left that ring on my front porch in the middle of the night, and you were just gone. You know, I'm glad you left. 
because being married to you would be like being married to a, a, a stubborn mule. <gasps> How dare you? Yeah, I said it. You know what? Hmm. I don't need you. Oh, you don't after I got you within a couple miles of the ranger station. You know what? This has got to be the worst rescue ever. <laughs> you know, do me a favor. <laughs> don't follow me. Done. And I really hope that this doesn't reflect the actual efficiency and capability of search and rescue, because if it does, they should clean house, starting with you. Oh, you... So the trail is very narrow at this point, and there's this baby rattler just sunbathing right in the middle of it, and there's tall grass on either side. So, so of course, you're not going to go stomping around in that, because you don't know how many other baby rattlers there are. Exactly. You get it. <laughs> I get it. I, uh, your shoe's untied. Oh. Um, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd, uh... No, I, I would appreciate the help. Yeah? Thank you, yes. Yep, yep, careful. Uh, yeah. I just, uh... I have an excellent tire of shoelaces, as oh, you can... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Look, two baby rattlers. Oh! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Good as new. Thanks. Yeah, uh, no, no worries. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh! Careful, careful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Joey, I... Uh, I keep telling you, it's Buff. Buff? I, I should probably keep this to myself, but whatever, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I just, I just have to say that I... We never talked about it. No, we never talked about it, because you never listened. And at least I gave Britain back, and I could have sold it. Don't move. Cold. What do I do? I'm gonna crouch down very, very slowly. I want you to climb on my shoulders very, very slowly. I'm scared. I know. Me too. I don't want to let go of your hand. You don't have to let go of my hand. I'm going to let go of your hand. What? So you can wave them around. The only way we're going to survive this no. is for bigger and scarier things <sighs> there, okay? I... I, um... What? I... Claire? Claire! I think it's working! Never mind! Oh, oh Claire, 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 I can't see! No, sir, sir, sir! Claire! Oh, oh Ben! Ah. Buff? Huh? We need to do what they're doing. I need to get on your shoulders. Matt? Get on my shoulders. I just said. Shh, trust me. I'm an animal whisperer. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 My heart. Oh, I thought we were gonna die. Oh. You're right. Yeah. Claire! You're all right! Oh. Oh. oh! Hey, Colt. Hey, Allie. I said I'd find you, didn't I, Ned? And I totally did. You sure did. Oh. Hi, mate. Joe Buffalino. Hey. Um, would you actually do me a bit of a favor? 
and uh, just keep this point in this direction just for a moment. Uh -oh. Yeah, perfect. Um, uh, What are you doing? I mean, it's not exactly as I imagined it, but... Claire? Will you marry me? Uh, um... Uh, um... Or, or we don't have to. I mean, we, we don't... We can... But we can... No, we should... Oh, but we can. We can still. We can. Congrats! <laughs> Congrats. Um, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh. Yep. Cheers for that. Um, capturing that nice little romantic gem of a yeah. of a moment, and mm -hmm. um, and thank you also f for especially for looking after Claire. Yep. Still my job. I'd call a chopper, but the the ranger station is. Pretty close by. I... Um. Well, I'm, I'm sure Claire's actually pretty exhausted. Oh no, we we can walk. And there you have it. Uh. Okay. Okay. I'll just uh, I'll call search and rescue to let them know that you two are safe. And the the path to the ranger station is just that way. I have a truck I can take you two back to your vehicle. Thank you. Follow me. After you. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Base, this is Natalie Pritchard. Do you copy? Oh, I um, found something of yours. We uh, left this up in a tree. I used it as a pillow when I slept up there. You slept in a tree? Yeah. <laughs> then I got so distracted seeing cold again, I must have completely forgot it. Again, uh, you two know each other. Yeah, it's a long story. I'll tell you in the car. Okay. Saw your horse. Was she all right? Yeah. Good. <clears throat> you couldn't catch her though. She got away pretty quick. Yeah, well, she's not the only one. How many horses have you lost? Oh. should have phone signal now. I'm sure you got a lot of calls to make. Oh, no, that's okay. I don't want to dig myself on right now. <laughs> so, uh, this cult gentleman, how did you two know each other? We were engaged. It was years ago. I guess you could say we were high school sweethearts. I see. Um, well, I, I had no idea. Oh, I asked him to record my proposal. I'm sorry. I, I should have mentioned. No, it, it. No, it's fine. I. My proposal was. It was weird, wasn't it? I you, mean. Yeah. Totally weird. Just 
the w oh, I don't know. I, I had so much adrenaline left over from fighting the bear, you know that. I'm. I'm I don't think that's. And 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 I wasn't thinking, and then I just I got down on one knee, even though the moment wasn't right, and I just asked you to marry me, and I don't. Yeah, that's what this trip was for, you know. Yeah, <laughs> to ask you to marry me. But then after I did it, I just felt like I shouldn't have. To be. Buff, you took the ring back off my finger. Oh, well, <laughs> you just look so. I mean, I thought that you would. Okay, you know. I know it wasn't. It wasn't right, was it? Oh. Maybe we should. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. <laughs> Claire, I took the ring back off your finger. <laughs> Who does that? Oh, I really am sorry. I maybe we should have realized this a while ago. <laughs> I think we realized it exactly when we were supposed to. Oh. <laughs> Gotta love that thirty day return policy. <laughs> Hey, will you drop me off somewhere? I had a feeling you were going to ask me that. Of course I can. But first, will you help me record something? This is awesome. I hope he still likes you. What if he doesn't? Is it true love? Yes. I'm going then. <laughs> You should call that Natalie girl. She's really cute. And I saw her hide her number in your pack at the ranger station. Stop it. <laughs> Guess you knew we weren't gonna work out. Take care of yourself, Buff. You rolling? Yes, I am, and you look gorgeous, so whenever you're ready, take it away. Hello, everyone. I don't have a lot of time to explain, but I will be taking this next week off, and after that, I'll be working remotely. I know this is coming at you all hard and fast, but I also know each and every one of you are capable of keeping things running smoothly without me hovering. Kelly, you're the VP for a reason. It's about time I trust you handling the day-to-day -day decisions. Jason, you need to trust your instincts. They're spot on. It took falling off a cliff and being swept down a river for me to realize that I would lost out on something extremely important in my life. I'm excited to hear how the launch goes. I'll be checking in next week. Oh, and um, you're all getting raises. That would make that photo look even better. Some clouds. <laughs> Hi. 
I owe you an apology. Claire. What are you doing here? I'm sorry for everything that I put you through. The last couple days and a few more before then. I had a lot of growing up to do. And I didn't want to admit it. I was just, I was scared that I would never amount to anything. And I felt that running away was my only option in order to prove that I could be someone or something. I know I was wrong. And if I had just talked to you, I would have realized I could have had both. I screwed up. I'm sorry. I am. Um... I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you couldn't confide in me. I'm sorry again for lying about the distance to the ranger station. I just really missed you. You missed us. So, uh, <clears throat> what now? Well, I was kind of hoping you would give me a second chance. What about uh, Buffalino? Well, this time I did the right thing and we talked about it. We both realized it was never gonna work because... I'm still in love with someone else. Claire, my place is here. I don't want to come between you and your career. The last thing I want to do is make you feel like I'm holding you back. You don't. And the best part about being a CEO in the 21st century is that you can work from any location. Especially when you're the owner and the creator. I've already reached out to my employees. They'll understand. Claire. Are you going to kiss me or not? Did you tell your employees? We can talk about that later. Right now, I want to ride off into the sunset with you. A little cliche, don't you think? Well, you know what they say about cliches. Ah, yes. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Claire.